welcome back to my channel and your girl Cynthia and this is time with Josie for the ladies this is for us okay if you're like me that hates looking for something oh my gosh I hate looking for anything if you know me I believe those that know me like yes this is the person she is if I am looking for something everybody in the house get it real hot i can even ask my baby did you see this and don't make that mistake of telling me that i won't saw it here no i was like why didn't you keep it but at that time i can start crying that is as much as i hate looking for something i hate it so much they were make, doing a makeup organizer i tell you girls if you do this it's going to beautify your room it's going to make your room beautiful and it's going to help you also get your things well organized and if, if you are that person that when you get an electronics or any item that comes in a box you just throw the box away after getting the item i believe from today onwards you're going to be keeping every box you can even tell somebody please don't throw away that your box it's going to be useful today because on this channel we are going to have a lot of that without further ado let's get right into it all right welcome back so what we need for this makeup organizer is a cardboard box you can get any cardboard box of your choice okay we will need a glue this is a white glue this is totally optional because i don't think i'll be using it because i will be using this wallpaper glue sticks for the odds um, gone okay and if you're using the white glue you need a brush We'll need a scissors for this and a knife or any other sharp object you can use. Then you will need a col uh, colored papers, any color. So I'm using pink because my uh, wallpaper is pink. I just cut the cardboard box into four. Then I made the base, which is the floor, the long side 31 cm and the short side 19 cm then the back i made the long side 31 cm and the short side 90 cm as you can see in the video then i did the left and the right side the same measurement we have the long side 19 cm and the short side i did it 18 cm then you just glue get the wallpaper or if you're using um plain paper or colored paper you just get your glue your white glue paste some on the cardboard and just glue your paper but I'm using this wallpaper and it has a sticker at the back so it's easy for me to use it's easier you can get this so if you have any paper just use that it's easier and I love this um, pink shiny color <laughs> So it's going to make it so beautiful you can get any wallpaper of your choice there are different wallpaper in the market so just get any one or use any paper to design your makeup organizer so ladies you can make this as beautiful as you want it's easy and you're going to love it Okay, after sticking the wallpaper to the cardboard, we're just going to glue them together to get our first base and I'm going to be using the hot glue gun. Okay, so we just glue them together so we can get our first base before going to the next set which is going to be the drawers. For the drawers, I made the base, 
the long side 18.5 cm and the short side 12.5 cm while the left and the right sides are the same measurement the long side is 17.5 and the short is 5 cm then the back i made the long side 10 and the short 5 cm then the front 12 cm and 6 cm you can increase the sizes so after sticking the wallpaper to the uh, cardboard box i'm just going to glue them together and for this the base i left some side i didn't glue the sticker fully to the base i just left some side to allow the glue glue very well to the uh, base Okay, this is the drawer divider because after the drawer, we'll put this. So I make the long side 18.5 cm, while the short side I made it 12.5 cm. I've already covered one as you can see. So I'm going to use my wallpaper to cover the other one now. Okay, after I use the wallpaper to cover it, I'm just going to go in with this aluminum tape to be, so that it can help us to identify the dividers between the drawers okay so that's what i'm just going to do here Okay, after the each drawer, I'm just going to place the divider, as you can see here. After each drawer, just place the divider to help you demarcate the first and the second drawer. Okay, now I'm going to place the demarcator between the drawer side and the other side. So that's what I'm doing here. Then after that, I'm going to place the demarcator. So I'm so sorry guys, I couldn't place my camera away so I can get the full view. Please manage this. <laughs> I believe as time goes on, I'll be able to know how to position my camera very well. So we can get a complete view or a total view of what I'm trying to do. So what I'm doing here, I'm just placing the demarcator because this the left side is the drawer side and the other side i'm going to make another pattern there it's going to have a lower drawer and the place where we're going to put our makeup brush or anything you feel like putting there okay so just bear with me and try to see what i'm doing so I'm just going to glue the first demarcator after the first drawer. This is the first demarcator. After this one, then I'm going to place the other drawer before the last demarcator, which we did now. So that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> Guys, I tried so much to get a clear position for the camera, but I couldn't so as you can see my ring light is even showing here so I, I just tried as much as possible to make this the easiest way so we can get everything I'm doing I hope we can really see what I'm doing here so I'm just trying to measure the um, the last drawer and see where I can mark the place to put the last demarcator Okay, I've placed the demarcators, so I'm just going to fit in the drawers as you can see. So these drawers, you can decide to put anything, you can put your eye pencils or whatever you feel like putting in here. So that all, oh, don't worry, I'm going to cover it. Okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to use to 
um, cover that space I it's just a design so I'm going to use my wallpaper to cover it now I've covered the design with my wallpaper so you see I'm just going to use it um, to cover that space I created there I actually created that space for this design Wow guys this is already looking so beautiful this is the drawer for the other side it's bigger than the other two drawers we did so um you as you can see the measurement is already on it i just tried my best to put all the measurements and that's the the demarcator for this one okay so i'm just going to use my uh wallpaper to cover this okay all right i've stick my wallpaper the next thing is i'm just going to glue them together to get a drawer so that's what i'm doing there and i created that space so that it can stick very well Okay, it's done so i'm just going to try it so the next thing you get a uh, uh, can the empty can so then i'm just going to use this aluminium tape to wrap it i have two of them so i wrap them and place them Okay guys, I just cut the cardboard into some tiny pieces and just tried to measure it. This really did not have any measurement because it's totally optional. You can decide to leave it like this or just demarcate it the way you want. So that's what I'm doing. I just want to show you guys what I did before I show you the end product, okay? time to create our drawer handles okay so i just cut some uh, box like into cubes and i'm going to use the aluminium tape to wrap them up now we are going to stick the handles and also the other demarcations i made The finished product but i'm going to have some touches to eat you can decide to leave it like this or you can also decide to do it the way i want to do it so just stay tuned isn't this beautiful wow it's so beautiful just imagine putting this in your room this is the touch i said i'm going to add so what i did here i just cut a straight cardboard and just bend the two edges and glue it. Then after I stick my wallpaper to it, I'm just going to place them. I had my daughter do this video for me, so that's why it's a bit shaky. All right, guys, this is the finished work of our makeup organizer. This is very beautiful. This is so beautiful. So I am just using one hand to hold my camera and using the other hand to just check the makeup box and show you guys what we did. So that extra touch I did, I just made two of it and put one each at both uh, sides of the makeup organizer. This is very beautiful. This is very beautiful. Then these you can decide to keep your makeup brushes or whatever and the other side for your lipstick. This is very beautiful guys. Wow, this is beautiful. So I just went ahead to 
arrange some of my makeup items so we can see how it's looking this is looking so beautiful this is very beautiful if you have stayed to the end of this video i want to say thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to drop your comments like i always say and don't forget to hit on the bell notification icon and also hit the like button all right we've come to the end of this video until we meet again bye i love you